the Sport Concussion Assessment Tool 5th Edition, or the SCAT-5 for short, is a screening tool used to assess athletes for concussions. This tool can help with the lead-up to a diagnosis by identifying the factors that point towards a possible concussion, and even after the diagnosis by aiding with treatment by guiding professionals based on the results of the SCAT-5 and the testing. Examiners will answer certain segments of the form based on their observations and questions. They will need to check for certain things like if the athlete can read things aloud, how strong their memory is by asking them about what they remember, using Maddox questions, and by checking their orientation and if they can balance themselves well. To use our free SCAT5, follow these steps. Download our SCAT5 from the Care Patron platform which you can find in the link in the description. Here is how the form is structured. For Section A, it is immediate or on-field assessment. This is for those who just got into a concussion causing accident during a game and they're being checked immediately or while they're on the field. The examiner must check the athlete for concussion symptoms such as headaches and double vision. Next, they have to indicate if there are any observable signs they notice in a person or through video footage, like the athlete having a blank or vacant look, if they have a facial injury after a head trauma, or if they're lying motionless in a playing surface. After that, the examiner has to ask the athlete Maddox questions, like who scored last in the match, did your team win the last game, and what venue are we at today? Once the athlete is done answering Maddox's questions, the examiner will conduct the Glasgow Coma Scale assessment as well as a cervical spine assessment. Section B is Office or Off-Field Assessment. This is for athletes being assessed for a concussion in a sports doctor's office or off the field. The examiner will fill out the athlete's background form. The examiner will hand the form to the athlete so they can answer the symptom evaluation portion. This section is a self-assessment form that will be used to see what an athlete is dealing with after the concussion causing accident. Cognitive screening. The examiner will assess the orientation of the athlete by asking them questions like what month is it, what is the date today and what year is it. Next, the examiner will assess the athlete's immediate memory by picking a set from a bunch of word repetition sets. The examiner will mention 5 or 10 words for the athlete to repeat in any order. After the word repetition sets, the next are number sets. The athlete will have to repeat the sequence of numbers, but backwards. Lastly, they have to recite all the months in the year in reverse order. Neurological screen. The examiner will check if the athlete can read aloud, if they can perform tandem gait normally, and more. The examiner will also check their balance. Delayed recall. This will be performed five minutes after the immediate recall exercise under cognitive screening. The athlete has to try recall all words in either the five or ten words you had them recite earlier. Decision. This is a record of scores from all the sections under office or off-field assessment. You just need to tally everything based on the answers. Here is a sample of our SCAT5 which you can find on our Care Patron platform. To find our SCAT5, go to our Care Patron platform or click on the link in the description. In our template section, we have a variety of templates and worksheets for you to use with your patients. You can filter or type in the keywords to find the worksheet. Thank you for watching our video at Care Patron. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. If you would like to see more videos like these, subscribe to our Care Patron channel or click on one of our recommended videos.